Now this is a video of a demonstration, a live demonstration of the Zeto Health automated clinical documentation improvement application. The demonstration was recorded live running on an IBM Zeto Power Linux appliance. Uh, this application and this demonstration uh, is one in a series of um, recorded demonstrations that include the DRG dashboard application for diagnostic related groups and bundled payment programs, the cross clinical and genomic data application for analysis across clinical and genomic variant data, the clinical quality measure application um, for uh, reporting for improving patient outcomes and complying with federal and state incentive payment programs, and the, and the current uh, demonstration for the CDI application. As you can see, the Zeto Health uh, software interoperability platform uh, is a mechanism that's designed to span uh, multiple data silos in the healthcare industry which include uh, multiple electronic health record vendor systems, other legacy data applications, and um, other sources of healthcare data, which may be uh, in a single hospital system or a physician provider system, or across multiple data centers of multiple systems, and also um, include a bridge to the internet for concurrent analysis of these data sources. Uh, Zeto Health um, product provides cooperative federated analysis across uh, multiple data source types, including full text, numeric, date data, and other formats from clinical sources, labs, demographic data, claims data, genomic variant data, and uh, the newest area, behavioral health data. By spanning multiple EHR data repositories, um, otherwise known as data silos, it's possible to provide decentralized analysis with the global views from a single pane of glass. The software also has uh, fully functional published Java APIs for system to system uh, interfacing with existing healthcare systems. Zeto Health has an experienced uh, team, including Dr. Daniel Hines, one of the founders and the CTO of Zeto, who was inventor of LifeCode software and formerly the CTO and founder of A-Life Medical. LifeCode software and A-Life Medical were acquired by United Health in 2010 and are now part of Optum, the health services platform of United Health. Uh, at the core of their Optum 360 computer assisted coding and clinical documentation improvement products. LifeCode has successfully processed hundreds of millions of medical records. We will show you a demonstration of the work that uh, Dr. Hines has done since uh, leaving A Life Medical um, as uh, CTO of Zeto Health. Two other Zeto uh, medical doctor founders started hospital of services in the United States, um, and Dr. Winthrop, Winthrop Whitcomb uh, co-founded the Society of Hospital Medicine. Zeto Health uh, Technology is an integration of two um, uniquely advanced computing technologies. Um, the first is advanced techniques for natural language processing and extraction of medical concepts and automated coding, which leverage a comprehensive semantic medical ontology, and the second um, technology suite is data normalization, indexing, and edge processing for decentralized search analysis and verification across uh, EHR and other uh, healthcare application silos. That technology was has been proven um, in massive scale across U.S. intelligence agencies for counterterrorism. Um, applications at the scales of tens of billions of records meeting the highest security standards. The medical ontology is comprehensive and includes um, human anatomy, diseases, symptoms, observations, medical tests, findings, diagnoses, treatments, procedures, and morph 
morphological abnormal or abnormalities and the relationships among them. For the automated CDI application, uh, it's designed for productivity gains for both physicians and coders. The software processes uh, source patient medical records from the ground up um, and uh, automatically links, hyperlinks, um, the assigned codes to the highlighted evidence in the source clinical records for verifiability. This provides the physician with more efficient access to the information that the physician needs during the diagnosis uh, process and reduces physician time in responding to queries from coding staff um, at a later point. This increased automation reduces manual chart review by the coding staff and enables more efficient and effective verification um, of the gaps noted between the clinical documentation and the um, severity of illness found in the, in the full medical record. The benefits include more accurate billing codes, uh, full rev fuller revenue capture for the provider based on severity of the illness, improved patient outcomes, uh, impacting the case mix index and optimizing hospital reimbursements for specific conditions, uh, increasing productivity for physicians and coding staff, uh, increased accountability and more streamlined auditing, increased performance payment incentives and decreasing penalties from more accurately and verifiably capturing severity and quality of care. Uh, now you'll see the live demonstration of the automated uh, CDI application as recorded, uh, presented and recorded by Dr. John Holbrook. Dr. Holbrook created the first 24-7 hospitalist program in the United States and has served as director, medical officer, and vice president for hospitals, state governments, um, federal programs, and the um, health in healthcare and um, in the insurance industry. We will be demonstrating the Zato Health application for clinical documentation improvement. It's important to note that we've selected a corpus, in this case the obesity corpus, where the, we will be showing records, actual records, that have been completely de-identified and stripped of any uh, PHI, uh, private health information. We've also tested this on millions of hospital actual clinical records uh, from actual patients uh, from multiple uh, hospital information system sources. But in this case, we'll only be showing a limited number of de-identified cases. The first query that we'll be showing is for acute respiratory failure. And in keeping with CDI clinical documentation improvement, we'll be looking at records in which the criteria for a specific diagnosis, in this case, uh, the major comorbid condition of acute respiratory failure, have been found, but the specific diagnosis needed for accurate coding, acute respiratory failure, has not been articulated, in this case, in the discharge summary. So if we can show the first discharge summary as an example, and here we see that the, the criteria for t acute respiratory failure, MCC, tachypnea, has been found oxygen saturation between 88 and 90 percent, and cyanosis. But the specific diagnosis for acute respiratory failure has not been articulated in the discharge summary. We can see that the, the concept that we've extracted relative to MCC criteria has been highlighted in the text and normalized and to an ICD-9 code or an NDC code, uh, a CPT-4 code, but has been normalized uh, in terms of uh, standard um, code sets. Um, we've also extracted multiple other concepts, diagnoses, uh, findings, uh, symptoms, uh, treatments, uh, and in each case we have attached to that concept a degree of certainty, for example, possible, probable, ruled out, worsening, improved, history of, and we've also linked that fact or concept to the actual text in the medical record where that concept was extracted. In 
the, the, the precise words don't have to be found. For example, in pneumonitis, we found aspiration by E. coli bacteremia causing pneumonia. We've extracted the actual concept. This is, not, this is more than just word search, but it's actually looking for the meaning in a particular phrase, as well as we said, the re- low level of certainty associated with that concept. As we scroll down, we can see that we've also extracted multiple aspects of treatment, including drugs, uh, medications, uh, and the actual text in which they've, uh, where they've been actually uh, documented throughout the medical record. So because we've extracted not just the particular concept for acute respiratory failure, but virtually all the significant medical concepts in this particular record, this application has many other potential uses, for example, clinical quality improvement, Uh, research, population health, uh, uh, and even possibly uh, correlating the clinical content of a record with with, uh, uh, genomic databases uh, for purposes of research. The next major comorbid condition we would like to demonstrate is acute blood loss anemia. Once again, we are querying Uh, records to look for cases in which the criteria for acute blood loss anemia have been documented, but the specific diagnosis has not been articulated to allow for accurate coding of the level of acuity. Here we will pick up a hospital discharge summary. We would expect the diagnosis of acute blood loss anemia to be articulated in a hospital discharge summary. Here we see that the The discharge summary has mentioned hemorrhage, hematemesis, uh, variceal bleeding, hemoglobin 8.4, and so it has met the substantial criteria for acute blood loss anemia, but the specific diagnosis has not been articulated to allow for inclusion, for example, on a UB93 or into the DRG for acute blood loss anemia with potential significant revenue loss for this particular case. As once again, we can see multiple other concepts that have been extracted, not particularly necessarily relevant to the MCC of acute blood loss anemia, but potentially useful for many other applications, including quality improvement or population health, or just the ability to look at massive amounts of data with respect to specific symptoms, findings, diagnoses, uh, and or treatment. Our third example of Zato Health CDI application will demonstrate sepsis, a sepsis query in which the criteria for systemic sepsis, or SIRS 995.91, the criteria for this diagnosis have been met, but the specific diagnosis has, again, not been articulated for uh, accurate inclusion in terms of uh, coding documentation. So in this case, for example, the claimant has sepsis in terms of pneumonia, a pulse of 115 and respiratory rate greater than 30 of 35 or greater, demonstrating systemic involvement. But the diagnostic code 995.91 has not been articulated or expressed verbally in the discharge summary. Once again, we can see multiple, multiple uh, conditions and 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 uh, findings. We see wheezing emphysema, uh, malignant neoplasm of the bronchus, in this case lung cancer, although we've extracted it as malignant neoplasm, uh, tobacco use disorder. And so we've, we've extracted multiple facts uh, and associated them with variable levels of certainty, as well as associated them with this particular uh, area of the text from which they've been extracted. Uh, this will be Uh, very important, for example, in accurate coding in terms of levels of certainty of findings, as well as, uh, in short, understanding what's really going on with the medical text in a normalized, standardized method that can be uh, basically make this uh, data liquid for any other particular application that you would want to use. Once again, we've also shown um, laboratory values, uh, medications, uh, and we've extracted not just the fact that uh, a laboratory value or a medication or uh, 
physical finding was found, but if there's a, ne- a numeric value associated for, with that, for example, a respiratory rate, we've been able to ex- extract that and compare it against uh, a greater than or less than kind of standard to understand really how sick this patient actually was in a completely normalized fashion. Uh, I would mention that the center column, which just has codes, is in essence a de-identified version of this medical record and can be shared uh, for purposes of research without without revealing any PHI, but revealing the complete granularity of this case for further research.